It began as a desire for excellence and grew over time as contemporary architects, artists, and landscape architects were welcomed to express their bold ideas, thus transforming Columbus, Indiana into a mecca of art and architecture. The story of how Columbus became home to a national treasure of modern art and architecture reveals the power of this community's quest for excellence. In the early 1940s, a local congregation was building a new church and desired a contemporary design. They offered the project to architect and Finnish immigrant Eliel Saarinen. Saarinen declined the job. Then one of the parishioners, J. Irwin Miller, asked for a chance to speak with him. Miller persuaded Saarinen with the challenge that the congregation sought a special architect who could find the right expression for their desire to live both a richer inner life and a simple outer life. In 1942, First Christian Church was completed. It was the first contemporary building in Columbus and one of the first modern churches anywhere in America. It is the oldest of the seven national historic landmarks in the city, and it signaled the start of the community's journey toward excellence. The population of Columbus was expanding with the 1950s post-war boom. J. Irwin Miller, chairman and CEO of Cummins, again stepped in. He encouraged the school corporation to find modern architects to design their much-needed schools. For the first new school, Lillian C. Schmidt Elementary, Miller proposed the creation of a partnership Cummins Foundation would donate the design fees if the school board would choose an architect from a list prepared by the foundation. After the school was successfully built, the school board asked if the Cummins Foundation would contribute the design fees for other schools. They did, and the architecture program was born, eventually expanding to include any public, tax-supported building in Bartholomew County. With this program, modern and contemporary architects saw Columbus as a city that welcomed their bold ideas. Miller believed modern architecture would help Columbus be seen as a forward-thinking community, and that in turn would create growth. By the 60s, after much national press exposure, important architects of the day began to lobby for projects here. Eliel's son, Eero Saarinen, Robert A.M. Stern, I.M. Pei. Gunnar Burkertz and Harry Weiss, to name just a few. Private citizens, businesses, and civic organizations also chose world-class architects when building homes, churches, offices, and factories. Each architect who has designed here has helped to create a community of unique and exceptional buildings. Columbus is a living architecture museum. It is home to over 70 buildings and landscapes designed by many of the most noted and influential architects of the 20th century, seven of which are national historic landmarks. Surprising to many who tour Columbus's architectural treasures is the sheer number of celebrated buildings in a modest Midwestern town. When asked about architecture and a community's quality of life, J. Irwin Miller said, I think the buildings that we move around in have an enormous influence on us. Mediocrity is expensive because you may have to build three inadequate buildings in the same period of time that one good one would last. Commenting on the value of Columbus's architecture program that he started, Miller said, What is built reflects what a city thinks of itself and what it aims to be. Columbus, he said, should be the very best community of its size in the country. In creative concert with the world's leading architects are also some of the most inspiring and talented artists, including Henry Moore, Dale Chihuly, and Jean Tangley. Using Columbus as a backdrop for sculptural artworks, these artists challenged the traditional notion of artistic expression and propelled it into a realm of exciting visual innovation. The community continues to add to its collection of imaginative public art, in addition to landscape and streetscape projects. 
Accentuating the impact of public art and architecture in Columbus are exceptional landscape designs, innovative parks, and green spaces that have garnered numerous awards. Modern masters of landscape architecture, including Dan Kiley, Michael Van Valkenburg, and Jack Curtis, set benchmarks for landscape design in Columbus. These designers have artfully woven their work among Columbus's linear and thoughtfully constructed modernist buildings, resulting in a breathtaking harmony of nature and civilization. Columbus is an improbable town. With a mere population of 45,000, Columbus ranks sixth in the nation for architectural innovation and design by the American Institute of Architects right behind Chicago, New York, Boston, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. The Columbus story has been featured in dozens of regional and national publications, including National Geographic, The New York Times, The Chicago Tribune, Midwest Living, and Dwell. Smithsonian Magazine called Columbus a veritable museum of modern architecture. The Chicago Tribune said, Columbus is a small-town architectural mecca. USA Today said Columbus is one grand landscaped park. National Geographic Traveler ranked Columbus number one of all U.S. destinations and 11th out of 109 historic destinations worldwide. From the many journalists, professional associations, and thousands of visitors welcomed each year, all agree that the story about how this small town striving for excellence is both unique and inspiring. From the vision and commitment of J. Irwin Miller and a myriad of residents, community leaders, architects, designers, and artists, Columbus continues to grow as an internationally celebrated community, providing inspiration to everyone who experiences this special community. Columbus, Indiana. Unexpected. Unforgettable.